Hello fellow craft nerds, and welcome to another Crafty Kuko video. In this video, I'll be showing you the process for making this galaxy jellyfish. The list of ingredients is in the description below. Let's get started. I start by forming this wire into a weird, vague, lumpy mushroom top thing. That's an 18 gauge wire. Actually, it's kind of weird how similar in form jellyfish and mushroom are. I wonder if there's other similarities. I'm gonna look it up later. Here's our fancy iridescent film. Apply glue to the film and the wire. Tap it all down so it's completely sealed around with the glue. And then let it dry. Well, I didn't, because I'm an impatient millennial. Pro tip, don't cut through wet glue with your scissors. This method will 100% ruin your blades. Don't be like me. Just don't. Really, don't. Now you got a bezel. Yeah, time for some resin. Purple is a standard galaxy color, according to the internet. You just need a tiny drop. And this one has more of a pearlescent sheen. And now for some glitter. Stay. Just a dash here and a dash here. Oh. Whoops. Oh well, no one lives forever. And then I added a bit of dark blue. You see those glittery swirls? Yeah, I bet you were all like, that's too much glitter. Man, look at these Van Gogh's very nice swirls. Admit it, you doubted me. And you were wrong, objectively. gonna add the blue first for the background. See that blue spoon thingy I'm using? I think I got it in a Wendy's Frosty and I never let it go. Recycle, reduce, reuse. Less plastic in the ocean. Now let's see what happens when I add a drop of pink dye straight on top. Great for creating that supernova, dust cloud, nebula, whatever. Now to add some more purple dye. And now for some black for the deep, cold void of space. After curing it for a minute under the UV lamp, I mixed a bit more hot pink to give the nebula more depth and color and other pretentious art terms. Just gonna dab that right on top. Squeeze a bit more clear resin to box in the pink, and we've got ourselves the making of space art. We're using the glitter sparingly this time to create a star field. Love this chunko glitter for the bigger, closer stars. Here, and add another layer of resin. I'm adding a few pre made eye pins inside the hood of the jellyfish so that I can hang a few strands of beads from the hood to simulate the arm feelers. 
each one needs to be shaped into a slight curve and cut down to size. The one in the center needs to stick out at both ends. I'm using this beaded chain for the outer tentacle arm feelers. Ugh, I hate saying that word, tentacle, tentacle, yuck. Length is kind of arbitrary, but if you're looking for a number, 10 centimeters seem to work for me. Nudge, nudge, nudge. A little more resin to seal the deal. I really want to ensure that the resin totally coats the chain and the eye pins. and cure. The last layer of resin is going right down the middle, barely going past the beaded chain border. Let's get decorating. These are usually used for nail art, but you can use them for pretty much anything. Next up is the rhinestones. I'm just bedazzling the bottom edge. While that cures, I'm making a chain of beads. I prepped five beads and connected them together, biggest to smallest. This will form the center body oral arm. Then it gets connected to the hood. This is for the outer oral arms. Take your loopy duper and form a loop. Add a bead and make another loop on the other side. These beads were provided by bbcraft.com. Be sure to check out their jewelry supply shop. They've got a lot of really neat findings. Link in the description. Then I made a bunch of decorative little S jump loops. and then I formed them into two chains. And those get connected to the hood. The hood is connected to the Last thing to do is finish the top loop. After 
forming the loop, I wrap the end around the base. It's a lot easier to do with pliers, unless you have thick calluses on your fingertips. And it's done! Wiggle wiggle. So it turns out jellyfish and mushrooms have nothing in common except a species of jellyfish called Ropilemna... Ropilem... Ropilema? Ropilema virili. And I need to sleep more. Of course, you can try this out with a variety of colors and glitters like these. Do you like sea creatures? Got a fave? Tell me about it in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed the process and maybe subscribe if you want more crafting videos. Good night and we'll see you in the next video. Later days. Tentacle. Yeah. Tentacle.